Hello YouTube. A couple weeks ago I picked up this pair of Tyco EMD E7 locomotives uh, by New Haven. I don't know if they run or not so stay tuned and we'll give them a test. I'll be right back. Alright, thanks for sticking through that introduction and joining me um, for another episode of Will It Run? Uh, this time we're going to be taking a look at this um, Tyco EMD E7. Um, it's by New Haven. Uh, I got this a couple weeks, maybe three weeks ago at my uh, local train store. Um, it's untested. Um, they just don't bother to test, you know, these old vintage uh, locomotives like that. Uh, even if they're in the box, they they just mark them anywhere between five and ten, twelve bucks, and that's it. You know, I, I imagine they probably pay next to nothing to whoever brought this in. Um, but you know, Tyco, you know, ten bucks. These two units, I couldn't pass it up, so I went ahead and picked them up. And Tyco. Usually they, even if they don't run, my understanding is you can take them apart pretty easily and get them working. Uh, so this is the powered unit, and this is the dummy unit. Uh, so let's take a quick look at them. So here is the powered unit, and again you can see the sticker here. I only paid 10, buck, uh, 10 bucks for the pair. When I got them, they actually had a rubber band around both of them. Uh, everything looks to be complete. Uh, truck covers are there. The couplers are there. Uh, the ladders seem to be intact all the way around nothing broken off horns are present so uh, no major scuffs or anything like that a little little something there but for something that's 35 40 years old maybe older not in bad shape um, one thing I did notice is I'm not 100% sure but most of these uh, Tyco power torque units usually have traction tires um, to help them pull but I don't see any present. It looks like they could have had some. They've just worn off. So if this runs, I'm not really sure how well it's going to pull. But we'll we'll definitely test all that out. And here's the dummy unit. Uh, again, the ladders are there. Truck covers. Hitches. Or, well, couplers, I guess you should say. Uh, looks to be in great shape. No major scuffs or anything. A little little something there. But again, 40 years old, I'm sure, at least what can you expect so looks to be in great shape so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this in three phases or at least that's what I'm gonna attempt we'll get through phase one and we'll see if phase two or three even happens uh, but if it does we'll see how it goes so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put this on the track and give it some power and see if it runs uh, and I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod so I can show you got my little work in progress layout here so I've got this little branch line here coming off and so I'm gonna go ahead and load up the dummy and stick him on the back and then I'll put the powered unit on there as well but just won't couple them and give it some power and see if it can uh, come out through this turnout and if it can we'll back it up and hook up to the dummy unit and see how that pulls and if it's able to pull that okay then I've got some cars lined up here and we'll see if it's able to pull the dummy three cars in the caboose if it works at all I'm not real sure because it doesn't have traction tires so we'll see alright so enough rambling from me I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause so well actually you know what let me just stop it and then that'll give me a couple of moments to get everything set up and then I will be right back Okay, we got the um, locomotive on the track, and we've got the dummy on the track. You can see I left a bit of a gap there. That way we can test this rascal out, and if she works, we can back her up and hook up to the dummy unit and see if it can pull it. And if it can, well, we'll press our luck and go a little further and see what we can do with uh, these four cars here. Uh, pardon my mess here. This layouts a work in progress and unfortunately it sometimes becomes a camping ground for other things all right so let's go over here got my little model power power pack i've already got it turned on so let's 
focus on the locomotive and see what happens. Okay, nothing so far. Oh, we got a light. Uh, well, we had a light. Okay, that's full power. Nothing's happening. Even the light's off. So let me back it up a little bit. Let's just give it a... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. And I derailed. All right, so let's turn it off. I need to make sure I got that switch right. So I'm going to fumble around here and see if I can get this on the track. I think I got it. I watch S&T Mainline, uh, and his videos kind of got me back into this. And I watch him put these things on the track so quick and easy. I don't know how he does it. I think he's like 18 years old, so maybe it's just better eyes than I've got. All right, so let's uh, push this up against here. And let me verify. Okay. All right, so that one's set to come off. And all right, so we'll just run it up on that loop real quick. And we'll see what happens. Okay, it it is okay. <laughs> so there's no point really going any further with that. Without those traction tires, it doesn't have the strength to. It barely pulls this and wants to spin out. Um, let me put it in reverse, see if I can just get it back. Kind of help it along. Yeah, look at that. And, of course, I rammed it into the thing. All right, into the bumper. Okay, so we got through part one. We was able to get it to run, and I think on its own, it probably could have run around this track, and it might have been able to pull one or two of these cars because they're really light. Um... Because there is a considerable amount of weight on that uh, dummy engine. I don't know if all dummy engines come with that much weight or if it's just because someone may have converted that to a dummy unit. Um, I don't know. If someone in the comments would like to uh, chime in on that, it would be appreciated. But we won't bother testing these cars because I don't want to stress it out any further. I'll just uh, see if I can dig up some uh, traction tires. I'm sure some on eBay, and I've heard a few people mention something called bullfrog snot the first time someone mentioned that i thought it was a joke um, but come to find out there is a product called bull, bullfrog snot that you put on these uh traction tires at, or to use as traction tires i've not tried it so i may give it a go and if i do maybe we'll do a follow-up video to see uh, how it does okay well i've rambled on for long enough so let's go ahead and end this video here so thank you very much for uh, joining me for this um, look at this uh, EMD E7. Uh, I've got other units I'm going to test in the future. So if you enjoy uh, seeing these videos about, you know, if it'll run or not, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And also I've got uh, coming up later this week a video on some uh, on a train set. So you don't want to miss out on that. So again, make sure you subscribe. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me and you have a great day and happy model railroading.